Hello again Guardians and welcome back to the channel for another Dustin content related video. In today's video it's going to be a little bit different than our normal subjects. So let's go off to the beaten path for a second and think of an idea. On the subreddits a couple people have already talked about what would happen if Bungie decided to implement a game mode inside of the Crucible allowing those players to equip as many exotics as they wanted to in game. This idea seems a little bit bizarre but probably not too far off the stretch of a possibility because it's not that overpowered if you think about it. Imagine, all the players in there have the exact same capabilities of equipping the exotics you're using. Also, your gear and light level don't increase to tier 12 that easily as well. We'll go over that in this video, but this idea came about because Easy Now made a video on this concept. He created the idea of a blade dancer and what exotics he would use on that blade dancer inside of his hunter subclass and the video was actually fairly well made definitely go check out his video the link will be down in the description of this one so thank you easy now for the idea let's go into my concept idea though my warlock what i would be using and what exotics would be equipped to that guardian well my warlock is here right now and if we go into his inventory we already can see that he's equipped with storm trance that's what we're going to be going with in this video so what exotics would I use? Well, that's not too far off the beaten path. For the primary, I would equip Outbreak Prime. Why? Because it's the newest exotic out there, one of the rarest, and also one of the most prized inside of PvP. It's almost like the Hawksaw, except it's got a special exotic perk allowing you to get a headshot kill, and it breaks out into Siva Nanites that will attack the nearby enemies on the Crucible team. Also, if you get multiple body shots on somebody, those Siva Nanites will attack that person to eventually finish him off and also attack nearby enemies next to that person. So all in all, a fairly decent Crucible primary to use. And it also leaves room for the other exotics I'd like to use. So inside of the secondary slot, I would be using the Trustpasser. The Trustpasser ultimately because of the special ability it has to go up against shotguns and fusion rifles. And yes, as it may not be useful against sniper rifles, I would like to use it against those shotgun rushers and also those fusion rifle users. And it's also got that special perk where if we decide to use it, we can kill somebody, reload very quickly, and then the other person behind the bullets of that trespasser would be annihilated very quickly. For that heavy weapon exotic, I'd be going with the Iron Gallahorn. The Iron Gallahorn ultimately, because it has tracking and wolf pack rounds, and Gallahorn, everybody knows, has always been that fair, useful exotic inside of Crucible, and I would like to stick with that tradition and use the Gallahorn. Absolutely love the exotic, and honestly, if I could use the Gallahorn in every Crucible match along with the other primary exotics I'd like to use, I would definitely do so. So, inside of this Crucible game mode of being able to use as many exotics as possible, that's exactly what I would go with, especially for my Stormcaller build. Now, I also would like to run the helmet exotic, the Apotheosis Veil, only because I would like to remove Transcendence from my Stormcaller. As you all know, Transcendence allows the Stormcaller to have a full grenade and melee charge, and when they pop Transcendence or they use their super, they can get their health immediately back. The cool thing about Apotheosis Veil, though, is if you pop your super, you immediately get your health back, and you also get your grenade and melee back. So that means it's 10 times better than the normal transcendence perk out of the Stormcaller, and you can benefit a lot more from that. Also, my Apotheosis Veil helmet was from last week's Xur, and it also allowed me to get Ashes to Assist, which gained bonus super energy on grenade kills, and I can also replenish health on orb pickups, like if I'm going around the Crucible map and picking up all the orbs of light that my allies have dropped, I can get my health back that way. So honestly, a great exotic for me to use inside of the PvP section. Next up though, for the gauntlets, I would definitely like to run the impossible machines, just so I can grant that landfall perk to my Stormcaller without having to actually use landfall, because in my Stormcaller, I like using the perk called the Superconductor. Superconductor basically allows me to double my Storm Trance's lightning capabilities for chaining. So basically if I hit one ally or enemy inside of the Crucible, it will chain to the other enemies inside of the Crucible match that are close by, allowing me to delve out a lot of damage quickly and possibly killing a lot of people. Then for the chest piece, this is going to be very bizarre. 
I actually would like to run the Alchemist Remnant. If I'm already using the Impossible Machines in the Apotheosis Veil, vale, I want to use the Alchemist Remnant because for the Stormcaller, I would like to be able to gain that additional glimmer playing inside of Crucible Match if I pick up the special weapon and get some primary ammo. If I actually pick up that primary ammo, I'll get some glimmer during that Crucible Match, but that's not the important part. I want to, with my full super, orbs actually recharge my grenade and melee, allowing me to get that awesome melee that the Stormcaller has. The Stormcaller melee, the Thunderstrike, basically can snipe guardians from across the map. People have dealt with it inside of the Crucible and they absolutely hate it. And if I can use that melee often, just because if I have a full super, orbs, if I pick up orbs that my friends drop and I still have my super, I can still get my melee back fairly quickly. So grenade and melee charge, absolutely a beautiful idea to run Alchemist Remnants. Next up, transversive steps. Now, a lot of people would be wondering why I would want to use this inside of the Crucible. It's not because of the ammo pickup automatically reloads my weapons. That's not useful inside of the Crucible because picking up ammo drops would actually only do the, uh, I would only be able to do the primary ammo. So what this would actually be used for is for faster movement speed while crouching. The crouching would be if I'm crouching around a corner with my Trespasser or with the Galahorn, I would also be able to move faster during that crouching period to get uh, away from a shotgunner that's coming around the corner. And then I could turn around and blast them with the Trespasser and kill them fairly quickly. And the last exotic I would equip is obviously going to be the class item, the Warlock Bond, Light Beyond. Only because of the simple fact is I love Dead Orbit and that's honestly why I would be wanting to run it. Because I'd like to equip it to increase my reputation for Dead Orbit during a Crucible match. And there you have it, Guardians. That's my idea for my Storm Color build on all the exotics I could equip to that Storm Color. If you guys are interested in this, or if you have any ideas for future builds, let me know that down in the comment section below. Remember, check out Easy Now's video on his Hunter Blade Dancer on all the exotics he equipped to his Hunter. It was actually fairly awesome ideas that he came up with. And if you guys want to see future videos like this one, Say, if I wanted to do my Voidwalker, or maybe even my Sunsinger, or maybe even the Hammer of Soul Titan, let me know if you want to see those videos in the future on having these ideas implemented on those Guardians as well. Thank you guys for watching this video, and again, subscribe for daily Destiny content, and I'll see you all, Starside, in the next video.